supply and demand. Hey there, young learners. Have you ever wondered how the prices of goods and services are determined? In this video, we'll explore the concepts of demand, supply, and equilibrium price. First, let's define demand and supply. Demand is the quantity of a good or service that consumers are willing and able to buy at a certain price. The demand curve slopes downwards because as the price of a good or service goes up, consumers will typically buy less of it. This is known as the law of demand. If you sell a cup of lemonade at $3, you may only have 10 people buying it. But if you lower the price to $2, you may have 20 people buying it. If you continue to lower the price to $1, you may have 30 people buying it. Supply is the quantity of a good or service that producers are willing and able to sell at a certain price. The supply curve slopes upwards because as the price of a good or service goes up, producers will typically produce and sell more of it. This is known as the law of supply. Let's say a chocolate bar is priced at $1, there might be 10 sellers. If is priced at $2, there might be 20 sellers. And if it is priced at $3, there might be 30 sellers. When we plot the demand curve and the supply curve on the same graph, we can see where they intersect. This point is called the equilibrium price. Which is the price at which the quantity of goods or services demanded by consumers is equal to the quantity supplied by producers. At the equilibrium price, buyers and sellers are satisfied. Consumers are able to buy the goods and services they want at the price they want. While producers are able to sell their goods and services at a profitable price. And that's it. Understanding demand, supply, and equilibrium price is important for understanding how markets work. Thanks for watching. If you would like worksheets or a lesson plan that ties in with this video, please check out my store in the link below.